Hello everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rand's Graphics, and today we will be creating a vintage look slideshow inside After Effects. So you can download the project file and the link in the description given below, so you can follow along with me. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at what we are gonna be making today. create a new composition and I will name it media 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 6 seconds duration click ok make again another composition and I will name it placeholder 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 6 seconds duration click ok go to my project panel open the folder assets open the image drop down this photo into my timeline I will press P for the position and I will just drag this image down a bit and then I will open the media one and I will go back to my project panel and open these other elements in the textures and drop down this vintage PNG right away pre-compose this and I will name it just vintage move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK I will go to effects and preset go to color correction and I will just add tritone go back again to effects and preset go to color correction and add levels I will change some settings in here so I will change input black to 50 the input white I will change it to 245 gamma is 1 and output black I will change it to 50 output white I will change it to 260 then I will go to my project panel and I will drop down this placeholder one into my timeline right away go to effects and preset go to color correction and add CC toner I will change the tone type to pen tone type the code here for zero three times click OK and this one I'll just type eight zero three times click OK and this one I will change this to C zero three times Go to effects and preset and I will add noise and grain median. Set the radius to 1. I will go again to effects and preset. Go to S stylize and I will add cartoon. I will change some settings in here. I will change the render to edges. I will change the detail radius to 20. Threshold I will change it to 0. Shading smoothness I will change it to 85. Threshold, I will change this to 3 with 0.3 and the softness, I will change this to 96 and then open this advance, change this edge enhancement to negative 20 and the edge black level to 2.7. The edge contrast is 0.51. Then go to effects and preset and add fast box blur, blur radius to 2, iterations. 1 and check this repeat edge pixels go to effects and preset and add texturize I'll change this texture layer to placeholder 1 go again to effects and preset go to color correction and add tritone I will also change the blending mode here to soft light the original I use hard light but in this tutorial we'll use soft light then I will go to my project panel and I will drop down this background on my timeline I will first click S for the scale and I will scale it down right away pre-compose it and I will name it background move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK go to effects and preset and add fast box blur 
I will change this blur reduce to 5 and check the repeat edge pixels. Go to effects and preset and add color correction 10. And then go back again to effects and preset. Go to color correction and add levels. I will change some settings in here. I will change the input block to 25. The input white is 235. And then the gamma, I want it 1.14. The output block is negative 50. And the output white, I want it 265. I will change the blending mode here to multiply. Go to layer and create a new solid. And I want it this color. Be sure to remember this code so that it's gonna be accurate. Click OK. I will change the blending mode here to soft light. And I will go back to my project panel and open the footage, go to ink and I will just drop it down to my timeline. And then I will right away pre-compose it. I will name it ink reveal 1. I will just take this off and move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK and double click your mouse to open it up. And then press Ctrl D to duplicate it twice. And make the track mat here on the bottom, make it Luma inverted mat, and then change the blending mode here on top to make it stencil alpha. Make it transparent. Let's see. This is what we got. So now we will go back to the media one. Change the blending mode here to overlay. Go to effects and preset. Go to color correction and use and saturation. I will check this colorize. I will change the color ratio to 2 and 15. The colorize saturation I will change it to 75. And the colorize lightness I will change it to 15. I will go back again to layer. Create a new solid. This time I will make it white. Click OK. And then I will just duplicate this one by pressing my keyboard Ctrl D. And then move this one up of the white solid. And the blending mode, I will change it for now normal. I will highlight this white solid and press T on my keyboard for the opacity. And I will change the opacity to 50%. And I will change the track mat here to Luma. And then I will change the ink reveal blending mode to soft light. Drop down this RG brush one in my timeline. Right away, I will pre compose it. I will name it RG Brush 01. Move all the attributes into the new composition and click OK. Go to Effects and Preset, Color Correction, then I will apply Tent. Then I will go back again to Project Panel. I will highlight this placeholder one and press my keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then I will drag this up above the RG Brush 1. Change the blending mode to normal and again I will duplicate this RG brush one by pressing my keyboard control D and drag it up to my placeholder one. I will highlight this placeholder one and press my keyboard control D to duplicate it and I will just drag it up on the RG brush one and make this blending mode normal for now and I will open the effects control and change some settings in here. I will delete some of the effects in here like the median cartoon fast box blur texturize then i will go and add effects and preset color correction i will add levels i will change the input white to 230 the output block i will change it to 25 the output white is 270 press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate the rg brush one and then drag it up just above the placeholder one that we made and then make this placeholder change the track mat here to alpha mat. So this is now what we got. I will highlight these two compositions and I will press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. For now I will just make it no track mat because I have to change some settings on the placeholder one. I will just delete these effect levels and go back to RG brush one here. I will delete this effect and add simple choker. I'll just make the choke mat to 1. I will highlight the placeholder 1 here and change this to alpha mat. And also I will change the blending mode here to multiply. I will also delete this tent effect and 
go to effects and preset go to math and i will again add simple joker and make this joke math one then i will go back to my project panel and go to image i will use this background drop it into my timeline press s on my keyboard to scale it i'll just scale it down i will right click my mouse and pre-compose it right away i'll just delete this part here to rename it move all the attributes into the new composition and click ok then i will highlight this brush one again and press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it and drag it up so i'm still using this simple choker and i will highlight this background and make the track matte alpha change the blending mode here to soft light go to my composition and create a new composition and i will name it text 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and the duration is 6 seconds click ok i will grab my text tool and i will type branch graphics i'm using the font called Verdana and i will use this bold at 72 pixels create another text and i will type presented by Seventy two pixels size of bond, but it's regular, and I will just align it center horizontally and also this branch graphics. Move it down. I think that should be good enough, and I will go back to my project panel. Go back to my media one and drop down this text into my timeline. Duplicate this brush one again by pressing Ctrl D on my keyboard. Drag it up. I will go to my effects control and delete this simple choker. Then I will change the track part of this text to alpha matte. Now I will go to my project panel again and open these assets, go to image and open these other elements. This time I'm gonna choose some letter elements in here to put it into my scene. So I will choose the 1 to 4, maybe just including the 5. Drop it down into my timeline, press P for the position, arrange it first one by one. So it's up to you actually whether you wanted to put somewhere else, okay, just like what I did. Then I will just press S of my keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it down. This is just an example. Light it all and pre-compose it. I will name it letters. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Go to effects and preset. Go to color correction. I will just add tritone. Then open my project panel. Open these textures and drop down your half tone in the timeline. Pre-compose it right away. All the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Go to effects and preset. Generate. Fill. Change the color here to E1. CE B0. Click OK. Now change the blending mode here to multiply. I will open my project assets. Go to image. Open other elements. I will drop this. RG particle PNG in my timeline. Right away pre-compose it. I will name it RG particles. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Go to effects and preset. Go to generate and fill. I want to change the color here to white. Click OK. And now I'm gonna create a new camera. Go to layer, new and create a camera. I'm using to node 50mm preset camera click ok 
I will go back to layer and create a new null object. I will toggle switches in here and make the null object to be a 3D layer and I will parent the camera to the null object. I will also enable some of the compositions to be a 3D layers. Then I will press P on my keyboard for the position. Move my playhead to about 6 seconds. And I will create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch here. And then move my playhead to the beginning of my timeline. Change the value on the Z position 1000. And I will just press on my keyboard art for the rotation. Create a keyframe here. And I will change this to negative 7. And then I will go back to the 6 seconds duration. And I will change this to 0. So now I will go back to my project panel and drop down the glass on my timeline. Precompose it. Name it glass. All the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. And I will also drop down this bouquet into my timeline. I will right away precompose it and I will name it also bouquet. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Then I will highlight these two and press T on my keyboard for the opacity. I will change the opacity on the bouquet probably 50% and the glass 20%. Highlight the bouquet and go to effects and preset. Go to generate fill. Change the color here triple F for E6 and click OK. Go back to ink reveal one here. Delete this hue and saturation. I will just probably rename this layer and I will name it shape layer one. And I will highlight the white solid here and I will rename it to shape layer 2. And I will probably add some more effects on it. So I will go to effects and preset. I will go to blur and sharpen and add fast box blur. I want the blur radius to be 5 and the iterations 1. Go to effects and preset again and add transform. Set the scale here to 110. Now I will go back to my project panel. Close some of this. And I will create a new folder. And I will name it scene 1. Put all the compositions on the scene 1 folder. Then I will create another folder. And I will name it scene 2. And I will open the scene 1 folder. I will highlight it all and duplicate it. And I will place the duplicated compositions on my scene 2 folder. Then I will close the scene 1 folder, open the scene 2, highlight all the compositions in here and double click it. And delete all those compositions that you don't need to tweak. I will just delete this RG brush tree because this is not what we want. So first I will open the placeholder 2 and delete this image. Replace it with the image that we have here. Open the image folder. Go to photos and I will drop this down to my timeline. And go to brush 2. I will also delete this brush. And I will go to my footage and go to brush. I will drag this down into my timeline. And also the text to will highlight this runs graphics and I will change the text in here by double clicking my mouse. I will change it to vintage brush. I'm gonna be using blue brush. Font size to be 110. And I will highlight this presented by, double click my mouse to change the text. I will just change it to slideshow. And I will just change the font size here to 48. And the font that I use is Verdana regular. And I will just change the color to E1. 
CE P0 click ok I will highlight the vintage brush and change also the color here and type E1 CE and B0 and I will click ok and I will go back to the media one and I will open the scene one folder and I will go to text to put this presented on the upper portion of the branch graphics change the color of these two text to the same as the other ones so E1, CE and B0 and I will click OK we will also change the ink reveal in here so open the footage and go to ink delete all this ink in here and drop down this ink reveal to press your keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it twice make the track mat here at the bottom do my inverted mat and highlight this ink reveal above and change the blending mode to stencil alpha the letters all you have to do is to rearrange this one I will just drop down this image temporarily just to see the letters position now reposition the letters according to your choice delete this image because we temporarily put it there and i will open my media too i will replace all the compositions in here from the scene one compositions to scene two click my keyboard alt and hold it while replacing all these compositions so i will highlight this vintage first and i will replace it with the vintage two placeholder one i will replace it with placeholder two do this to all the compositions I will also change the opacity of this RG particle. I will click T on my keyboard for the opacity and I will change this to 10%. I will also go to media 1, change the opacity on this particle. I will click T for the opacity and change this to 10%. So it's looking good. So now I will gonna go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it main. 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and the duration is 10 seconds click ok then i will open the scene 1 folder i will drop down this media 1 also the media 2 i will go my play it to about 5 seconds press open bracket key to move the media to layer so now what i'm gonna have to do is to go to layer create a new solid and i want it white and i will click ok i will go to about 9 seconds and i will split this layer delete this layer and i will highlight this white solid and rename it fade out click t on my keyboard for the opacity i want the opacity zero and create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch in here and move my playhead at the end of my timeline and i will change this opacity to 100 percent then again i will go to layer create a new solid i will name it for gradient and i will click ok go to effects and preset go to generate click this for gradient I just change the color of this one i will type 8f 55 de i will copy this code to use it later click ok so i will also change this to this one and then click ok change the color of this one to ffa 800 i will just again copy this one click ok i will just change this to orange then i will 
copy it again and I will just change this pink to purple so I have to press T on my keyboard for the opacity I will just change the opacity to about 30% now I will go and create a new adjustment layer and I will name it noise I will go to effects and preset and apply noise on it I will change the amount of noise probably 4 and I will again go back to layer and create a new adjustment layer I will rename it sharp I will go to effects and preset and add sharpen on it change the sharpen amount to 5 and I will go back to my project panel and open the project assets open the footage I will drop down this dust footage here on my timeline I will right away pre-compose it name it dust move all the attributes into the new composition click ok drop down this slightly in my timeline and also I will right away pre-compose it rename it light leak move all the attributes into the new composition click ok and change the blending mode here to add also the dust change the blending mode to add I'll just change the size of the leak right click my mouse and go to transform and fit to comb I will go back to the main let's see boom nice so now I will create a new layer again go to solid and make this solid a black color click ok rename it mask and grab your shape tool change it to ellipse tool and double click it then open the mask first change this mask one to subtract then increase the feather like that looks vintage to me so now i'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition and i will name it final 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok then i will drop down the main drop it down to my timeline i'll just take this main out of the scene to folder and i will close this folder to make it look clean I will highlight these two click T on my keyboard for the opacity and I'll just change the opacity for the light leak probably 30% and for the dust I will change it to 50% so I think this should be good enough and we will open the final again and let's try to play now our tutorial is done i hope guys that you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe like comment and even share it to your friends if you want it and press the notification bell so that you will be notified to all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the next coming days so my thoughts for today guys is that one of the most common failure is the habit of quitting so never quit no matter how many negative reasons pops up into your mind okay so Thank you guys for watching and God bless. See you next time.